Today has been such a fun day. How does my crotch look? So I am very nervous. Double chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Back to my channel, my name is Amelia also known as Mood and Jones Coffee. My defense is fashion beauty lots of content. Okay. Let's start our day. If I told you that last night I was spinning peanut butter out of the jar for a good 20 minutes, would you believe me? I think you would. It was actually at the top, guys. This is so good. Like, I think this is one of my favorites. I think that's one of my favorites. Do you know why? Because I think what I know that it is just smoother and you can spread it a lot easier. Lee. Oh no, it's gonna make me feel sick. You know what I did do last night when I got in? Other than spooning peanut butter. I'm gonna have these. Some banana, I think. Yep. Also, you know what, guys? I'm thinking, hear me out, to do two uploads a week. What do we think? It's gonna be hard. I may have to get an editor again because, honestly, editing one video a week is enough for me. It takes a long time, guys. It takes a long time. So, I'm thinking of doing two uploads a week. The only thing I am hesitant about is. I don't, I feel like I'm gonna run out of ideas. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to come up with ideas or videos. I don't know what you guys wanna see. All I know is that you love winning the days. Obviously, like, I'm, I can't, I can't do that for every video. It's just not exciting, is it? So, yeah. When I have leftover banana, when this comes along, this bad boy, should I dip it? It's so smooth and that's crunchy. Whereas the other one I have, it's literally like, hard rock i've actually recently been really like insecure on my body recently i don't know if it's because don't mind me guys i don't know if it's because of my period like i think i have pcos is it a pm pms pcos i can't remember but i'm sure i do because my side effects and symptoms are so bad i get so painfully bloated my body just changes so much i think my hormones change a lot and obviously they're like that's pretty typical across all people with a period, but it's bad, guys. Every morning I wake up so bloated and I hate it. It just gets to me sometimes. My skin breaks out, I look awful. Anyway, this actually looks great. I also bought myself some flowers. How nice are those? Secret. This fell down the lane this morning. I overestimated how long it's gonna take. I literally ordered an Uber last night and it took ages and now this morning it took one minute. So I'm really early. Oh yeah, I just can't go for my hair. <gasps> it's just so bad. Like the roots are awful. I don't know if I mentioned, I'm going to a jab boxing class with Grace and Tash, who I was at last night. And they said it's really hard. They said it's literally the hardest class they've ever done in their lives. So I am very nervous. Yeah. And I'm just gonna roam the streets. It's a lovely day though, isn't it? London in the sun is just lovely. We wanna sit somewhere kind of outside or summery for brunch. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Why don't we find like a, uh, yeah. be real. She's got it back. This might be real, guys. Oh, okay, sorry. This is no joke, it's not real. It's doing to be real. 
piece of cotton. Ah! Get off my body! <laughs> How does my crotch look for that? <laughs> wait, wait, there is this. If you want a pre order a shake, you can write it down Chris. on the slipboard at the cafe and otherwise let's hang out on the top of the stairs because we're about to begin. <laughs> Sorry guys, but literally I've, I've just come out of the shower. I feel like I could very effectively play a tomato when it's called play. Oh my god. Right now. <laughs> um, guys, I am... I went and showered, but I still feel like I haven't showered. So that's the story of my life. Now we're looking for breakfast, so. Yeah, I feel like there's not going to be space outside. Um. That's <laughs> We should book that after a club. She's back. I'm sorry, but I just. I live for that. I live for going to a boxing class or like any sort of class in the morning and then going for brunch with the girlies. I live for that. That is what makes me happy. That is what I came to London for, guys. But I wanted to show you. So, um, I, I have this thing. I don't know if anyone else has it. Comment down below if you have it. Um, but I, like, I frequently eat. And when I may not have eaten in a window where I usually eat, and then suddenly I eat a meal, my tummy explodes. I can't give you the scientific facts behind why that is, but it is painful. It's painful. Let me show you. I know people are gonna comment down below being like, babe, that's not a bloat, but I'm telling you, it is, I'm in so much pain. I'm in so much pain. God. Like, yeah. It is quite scary when this happens though, because like, obviously it's not comfortable. I wanted to share that because I know a lot of people would like freak out or whatever, but it's not the case. It's just probably your body like thinking, oh, I'm a bit stressed. Can you just calm down, please? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna chill today. Well, it's literally five o'clock, so I'm gonna chill the rest of the evening. I need to wash my hair, so you'll probably see me with wet hair in the next clip. Who knows? I may or may not have just sat or lied on the floor for the past hour and a half. Procrastinating. I'm showering. I don't know, you'll never know. Fresh out of the shower and my dinner's ready. So we're gonna be eating our dinner in our towel. I actually will put a jumper on because I think that's a bit inappropriate for YouTube, isn't it? I don't even know if this is fully cooked, guys. This is actually a all plants thing. It's not an ad. Just got sent to me. Just very lovely. No, that's definitely still frozen. I thought it was burning. Oh. Back in we go. For round number two. Round number two. Is she done? Oh yeah, she is. She is. She is it in my belly. I think I'm ready for, I'm not ready for winter, but I am definitely ready for darker evenings. It's half seven and it's still literally so light outside. And I also find it so interesting because some people who don't live in England or who like aren't from Europe, they never realized how bright England can get in the summer. I mean, I, ju I just thought it was a well-known thing. You know what's really annoying? We don't have Wi-Fi in the house. It just keeps breaking. Guys, don't, Go for BT. Like, they're awful. They're actually awful. We're having so many annoying things happening to our Wi-Fi because of them. But, you know, it is what it is. We will roll with it. Today's been such a fun day. Like, I actually have really enjoyed it. I don't know how much content I got from today. Like, you can't film in Jab, like, in the boxing class that we went to. Which, I'm actually happy I didn't film because sometimes when I film in classes or even when I'm just working out alone, I just can't fully concentrate because I'm always thinking about, like, the angles and stuff like that. So it was actually really nice to just not have to think about that. Um, but like, if you are in London and you wanna try a workout class, definitely try Jab, like they are so, so, so good. It's one of the only workout classes that I have come out 
knowing that I have worked so hard, like it's such a, like, oh my God, I've never sweated for like that in my life. And I've gone to some aw like awful, horrific classes. That was next level. I literally, you know, it was the weirdest thing. So I went in the shower after. It's so weird going into the shower like you've already showered and then you're showering and it's not like nothing's washing off because you're already wet. Do you know what I mean? Like it's all just sticky on you. Like it was not a nice shower to be honest, but I digress. It was such a good class really enjoyable like i really really enjoyed it i i just get really worried about doing hit whether it's in a class or not like i get worried about doing hit because of my background obviously and i don't want my like cortisol levels to like skyrocket and i don't want to like lose my period and i know like one hit workout isn't going to do that but i just kind of avoid it really in general for that reason but also because i just don't enjoy it anyway but that i would happily do that every week it was just so fun really good so yeah now i'm just eating my frozen meal which is actually really nice mm. anyway i'm gonna enjoy this <laughs> I've just been planning podcast and filming it or recording it tomorrow. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna be really rusty. And also I'm doing it by myself tomorrow from here. So usually we do it in um, a studio, but I've got my podcast microphone over there. So I'm doing it remote and by myself. So it's gonna be very weird. It'll be fine. I also should plan my next few YouTube videos because that is stress in my head right now. My 3G, my data doesn't work and my wife doesn't work. So. I feel like the world has ended. I'm joking. It's very much needed, but I am a bit panicky. Like, I'm like, why is my 3G not working? So I'm a bit confused. Anyway, also I'm wearing my blue light sunglasses. Sunglasses, God, I actually am not okay. I'm wearing my blue light glasses because screens are bad for our eyes. So this is your reminder to wear your blue light sunglasses. Oh my God, I quit. Guys, I'm fully in my snack cupboard right now. She can't stop. Double chocolate chip cookie. This is what I mean by listening to your body. Because if I were to ignore my cravings of, like I was thinking about that chocolate chip cookie in the cupboard. And if I was to ignore that craving or that thought, then there would be two outcomes. One would be, I'd probably go to the cupboard like later on and then not only inhale that cookie, but inhale loads more because I mentally restricted myself from that cookie. Or the other outcome would be, I would wake up tomorrow morning and feel really shit at myself, want the cookie, end up having it still, and then again, inhale other things alongside it. It's inevitable. So listen to the cravings. You just gotta listen. You know what, now I'm actually happy. Anyway guys, I'm gonna sign off. I've got my two cups of teas. I've got my English breakfast decaf tea, which doesn't have any milk in it because I forgot I ran out of milk. And then I've got my peppermint tea. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you love this video. Hit that like and subscribe button if you have, or if you do like that video. Sorry, I don't make sense. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah.